I'm Dr. Anna Dale. I teach philosophy at Mount St. Mary's University in Emmitsburg, Maryland. This video gives a quick overview of notable people and events of the 14th century. I divide the century into quarters. For each 25-year period, I will discuss births and deaths, and then events in politics, culture, and religion. The first quarter of the 14th century, 1301 to 1325, saw the birth of two major Florentine literary figures, the poet Petrarch and the novelist Boccaccio. It also saw the death of the philosopher Duns Scotus, the poet Dante, and the explorer Marco Polo. In politics, Robert the Bruce began his 23-year reign as King of the Scots. In 1325, the Aztecs founded the city of Tenochtitlan. During this period, Dante composed his Divine Comedy, and Meister Eckert wrote the Book of Divine Consolation. Two popes were elected during this quarter century, Clement V and John XXII. Between them there was a two-year vacancy. In 1309, the papal court moved to Avignon, France, beginning the Babylonian captivity of the papacy, which would last for 68 years. Also in this quarter century, King Philip IV expelled the Jews from France, and Thomas Aquinas was canonized 50 years after his death. In the second quarter of the 14th century, 1326 to 1350, John Wycliffe, an English church reformer, was born, and so were Tamerlane, the Asian conqueror, and the poet Geoffrey Chaucer. Robert the Bruce died, as did the German mystic Meister Eckert, the painter Giotto, and the philosopher William of Ockham, who had been excommunicated more than 20 years earlier. In politics, Yusuf I became the Caliph of Granada, at the high point of Arabic civilization in Spain. In 1337, the Hundred Years' War began between England and France. It would last for the next 116 years. Beginning in 1347, the Black Death devastated Europe. In one year alone, it killed one-third of the population of England. From 1349 to 1351, an estimated 75 million Europeans died of the plague. In culture during this time, Boccaccio composed Decameron, a series of stories, and in, uh, we see during this time the earliest known illustration of a gun in European literature. In religion, the Avignon papacies of Benedict XII and Clement VI began. In the third quarter of the 14th century, 1351 to 1375, church reformer Jan Hus was born, philosophers Nicolas d'Autrecourt and John Buridan died, Petrarch and Boccaccio died within a year of each other. In politics, the Gallipoli Peninsula became the first part of Europe to fall to Turkish invasion in 1356. In China, the Yuan dynasty was overthrown by the Ming dynasty, which would last for nearly 300 years, and Tamerlane began his conquest of Asia. In culture, 1375 marks the first recorded appearance of Robin Hood in English popular literature. During this period, Pope Innocent VI reigned for ten years, and his successors, Urban V and Gregory XI, for eight years each, still in Avignon. During the final quarter of the 14th century, 1376 to 1400, the sculptor Donatello and the painter Fra Angelico were born. Johann Gutenberg, inventor of the printing press, was born in 1396, and Chaucer died at the end of the century. In politics, there was an unsuccessful peasants' revolt in England led by Wat Tyler. In 1399, Henry of Lancaster deposed Richard II and was crowned King Henry IV of England. In culture, the late 1370s saw playing cards displace dice in popular entertainment across Germany. During the last decade of the century, Chaucer composed his Canterbury Tales. In 1377, the Pope returned to Rome, ending the Babylonian captivity. But the next year, the Great Western Schism began, and two rival popes were elected. This situation would continue for 40 years. At Rome, there were Popes Urban VI and Boniface IX. At Avignon, anti-Pope Clement VII reigned for 16 years, followed by anti-Pope Benedict XIII. In 1382, 
John Wycliffe was expelled from Oxford and his doctrines were condemned by the London Synod. He died two years later. In 1398, Jan Hus was lecturing on theology at the University of Prague. This brings us to the end of the 14th century, the year 1400. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.